Tonight, Sydney traffic crippled. The harbour tunnel still shut tonight after a critical police incident, while severe storms sweep in from the west, bringing buckets of hail and heavy rain. Also tonight, West Tigers stars Josh Reynolds and Luke Brooks caught up in a drug raid on a strip club. A Cabramatta man dies in a crash two days before the car's airbags were due to be replaced. And Hollywood remembers legendary actor Burke Reynolds. This is Nine News with Deborah Knight. Good evening. Sydney has ground to a halt tonight. Drivers are getting nowhere in the city. All southbound lanes of the Harbour Tunnel are closed and have been for four hours now. Traffic is backed up for close to 10 kilometres. At the same time, a severe storm is battering the city with flooding at Brighton and hail in Rockdale and Mascot. Let's go first to Peter Stefanovic in North Sydney for us now. Pete, police have just declared a critical incident investigation over this tunnel chaos. What's happened? Yeah, it is, certainly is significant. As you mentioned there, Deb, Deb, all southbound lanes heading into the Harbour Tunnel remain closed this evening. They won't reopen until at least 8 o'clock tonight, which has caused traffic to back up more than 10 kilometres heading into the Lane Cove Tunnel. It's taking some drivers more than two hours just to cross the Harbour Bridge. So authorities are urging drivers, if they can, to find alternative routes. They can use the Gladesville Bridge or the Victoria Road, but they will be very busy as well. It is absolutely shocking. It's taken me an hour and a half to get here from Gladesville, usually 20 minutes. It looks awful. Yeah, absolutely awful. I don't want to sit in it for an hour and I've got to get to Cronulla. So yeah, it's going to be an interesting time to get home tonight. Just uh, two kilometres, half an hour. Now, Deb, this was all caused by a police chase that went wrong at about 1.30 this afternoon. A speeding motorcyclist, for whatever reason, ran up the back of a white SUV in the tunnel. The uh, injuries were so serious that it took rescue workers at least an hour to stabilise that rider before he was taken to St Vincent's Hospital, where he is now in a serious condition. This is the second critical incident that has involved police in this past week after a crash in Cronulla. Police do say they have launched an investigation here, but they did use their sirens, they did use their lights. But whatever way you look at it this evening, Deb, it is an absolute mess. And I tell you, it's been a long time since the Harbour Tunnel has been closed for more than six hours. Yeah, a traffic nightmare, that is for sure. Pete Stefanovic, thank you. And the severe storm warning is still in place for Sydney as we go to air. You might see the sky lighting up behind me with those lightning strikes right across the city. The powerful cells have swept in quickly from the west, dumping hail and more than an inch of rain across many suburbs.